Bullshit. Oh, Paul, can you be any more ignorant? Bullshit. Ron Muek produces the most hyper-realist works that the art world has ever seen. Yet it's Matisse who is embraced by the art establishment, while to a large extent, Muek is shunned. So again, it goes back to elitism. The general public loves Muek because he's massively talented and his works are stunning. But the snooty art establishment loves Matisse because they can pretend to be intellectually superior to the general public by waffling on about the pathos and the intricacy of a bunch of coloured squares. Paul Joseph Watson, I have to call you out. Even though I love you dearly, because I know you've been fighting the woke agenda for years in your own loudmouth way. But still, you make horrible mistakes in your videos about modern art. I think you've done two so far, maybe three, but the last one you did was, quite honestly, horrible. You honestly don't seem to know the difference between modern art and postmodern art, and that shows, and you obviously do not know the history of art, the history of European art, which is actually something you should be proud of. So you mentioned Ron Muick, the Australian sculptor, in your last video, and you use him as an example of realist art, art that takes skill, art that should be glorified rather than the modern art that you despise. Well, Ron Muick works with a bevy of assistants. No problem with that. Artists have worked with assistants through the years. And yes, his art is beautiful and detailed and realistic. However, you make the claim that he's uncelebrated. Uncelebrated? He's been exhibited in museums all around the world. He's been given solon exhibitions all around the world. He's been in the Venice Biennale, for Christ's sakes. I agree, Muick's art is grand. Look here, look here, look here, look here. Yes, wonderful. But then you go on to trash Matisse, Matisse, and you use his paper cuttings as an example? Oh, please. And you actually call it postmodernism? Oh, please. Matisse was a fauve, but Matisse started painting like this. He started painting like this. And he slowly evolved, and he evolved using more and more color. He has a beautiful sense of composition, a beautiful sense of form, a beautiful sense of color. And he became known for his colorists. He became a member of the group called the Fauves, which were, is the French word for wild beasts. He was a wild beast of an artist. And he expanded what art could be to being something beautiful and vibrant with the use of color. This is something you should celebrate. It is a part of Western art history, the very history that the postmodernists are trying to destroy. And you're helping them? Matisse made his last final paper cuttings when he was on his deathbed, when he was dying of cancer. And the only thing he could still do was cut paper with scissors, colored paper, make these beautiful forms. He was bedridden, and he had his assistants glue them to paper that he had glued to the ceiling of his, his room, and his assistants placed the paper for him at, under his direction to make those beautiful collages. They were the last act of a dying artist, an incredibly dying artist, incredibly talented dying artist. And you're making fun of him? Come on, Paul. This is Western art history. Western art history something you should be fighting to preserve, not to destroy. I have many problems, many problems about postmodernism and what has happened to our art institutions and our museums and the kind of crap you see in galleries these days. But don't set Paul Muick up as some example and say that he's unpraised or unsung and then talk about Matisse as if he's praised to the highest standards. Actually, he's being attacked these days for not being politically correct, and he's a part of the history that's trying to be destroyed. So I think you're totally wrong, Paul Joseph Watson. Think about it. Bullshit.